This short video is going to go through the basics of forces. The first thing that we need to know about a force is that it is measured in Newtons, which has the symbol capital N. So whenever we write a force, or for instance 20 Newtons, that's the way we would write it. The second thing that we need to know about a force is that it is a vector quantity. Now we remember there are two types of measurements or quantities that we have in engineering. We have scalars and a scalar has just a magnitude. These include things like time, mass which is measured in kilograms, we could probably include uh, distance in meters, and many other quantities. Vectors have both a magnitude and a direction. And a force is a very good example of one of these. Another one is velocity, acceleration and also displacement. So all the vector quantities have both magnitude and importantly a direction. Now that we know a force is measured in Newtons and that it is a vector quantity with both a magnitude and a direction, we can also look at the main parts to a force. So the force has four main parts. These include the magnitude, the direction, or sense, which is what we call it in engineering. We also have a point of application, and finally a line of action. So drawing a force in space would normally have a line followed by an arrow which indicates its sense. You'd be giving it a magnitude, say for instance 30 newtons, a point of application by a dot, and you could invisibly draw a hidden line which indicates the line of action. So that would be its line of action. This would be its sense. This is its magnitude. And this is its point of application. Finally, number four, we need to know about forces is that there are four main types of forces. These are collinear, which are in the same line of action collinear, line being line of action, coplanar, which are on the same plane, concurrent, which go through a single point, and non-concurrent. which basically don't go through a single point. And drawing in a square for you some examples, two forces, one acting this way and one acting the opposite way, would be example of collinear. An example of coplanar are two forces that are on the same plane but not necessarily in the same line. Finally, concurrent forces are forces that go through the same point. Non-concurrent forces obviously are two forces or three forces which don't go through the same point. Now as you can see, 
a force system can be both coplanar and non-concurrent or they can be coplanar and concurrent so these are not necessarily mutually exclusive but they are just different terms we use for force systems